What is going on, beautiful people? So today I want to talk to you guys about the tender subject of why men leave women when they get them pregnant unexpectedly. Now, this is hard to talk about, but we have to talk about the flight or fight response um, a man gets when they find out that a woman's pregnant and they're going to become a father. I feel like people don't like to talk about that. Um, and I understand that it's a lot of responsibility as far as being a woman and being a mother's concern. And mothers do, you know, hold the critical role as far as parenthood. That's not up for debate. But the fight or flight response that men experience is the reason why they end up leaving. And more importantly, the fight aspect of it is what makes them stay. Um, you know, because you have to let go of your, your old lifestyle. You can't be in the mix. You know what I mean when I say in the mix. You outside, you in the street, you going to clubs, you going to bars, you hanging out with the homies. All of that has got to really stop or turn down to, you know, a minimal volume in order for you to be a present parent that is there, um, you know, with a healthy sleep schedule. Because especially in the early stages, your sleep schedule is going to be jacked and you have to be good with time management. And there's so much that goes into a child and raising a family. Um, and you really have to fight for that, not just for the child, but also for your relationship with the mother and vice versa. It isn't just men here, guys. Women have to fight as well. Um, but you really have men really have to be willing to fight for the future of their family, you know, because you could be falling out after the kid, after the kid gets there, there's always like, you're not always, I can't say always, but you know, there's tension. You start, you know, bickering because the bottle's too hot or the bottle's not hot enough, or, you know, you brought the wrong blanket for the baby or like, who knows? You, you, you know how it is after you have the kid, you know, y'all are both sleep deprived, uh, very stressed, haven't slept very well, you know, and you guys might be at each other's necks or, you know, you know, just hurting each other's feelings or, you know, someone might be not as nice as they normally are or as chipper because, you know, you got the baby just yelping constantly. There's a lot going on um, those first couple months when you're when your beautiful child comes home. And, you know, of course, that makes you want to fight even harder or at least it should. But, you know, not all men think that way. I hate to say it. You know, that's not the way I feel. You know, when I, I wanted to fight for my son immediately. I wanted to fight for my family immediately. And I never once felt like, oh, yeah, I'm about to dip. Let me get my coat. You know, <laughs> like I, I, I wanted to be a dad before I became a dad. You know, I, I came, you know, my family wasn't the most uh, normal orthodox of family. So I wanted to make sure that there was, you know, just a good structure. And, you know, I was always there and I could play a major role as far as being, you know, my child's uh, role model, my child's, uh, you know, father figure, his father. Uh, you know, and just as elder that he could look up to, he could respect and he could find safety, support, structure um, and guidance from that is so important, especially the relationship and the love that comes with that of you teaching like a little boy how to become a man. I always wanted to do that, guys. So it was like a dream come true. EJ, if you ever watch this video, daddy, love you so much. Mm. And today, guys, today was uh, bring your stuffed animal to school day at daycare. And he got to bring JJ from Coco Melon. I'm going to do a video later on about how Coco Melon has my son in a chokehold. <laughs> it's kind of my fault because it was the first cartoon he ever watched. Uh, but yeah, you know, like if you don't love your child enough to fight, or at least love your family enough to fight or the possibility of having a family, you know, if you don't love the idea enough to fight, then you're probably going to take flight. It is what it is. And, it, you know, some take flight immediately after pregnancy. Some leave when you're three. Some leave in high school. And, guys, I'm not talking about disagreements and, you know, you you and the old ladies just not working out. You guys have a mutual agreement, um, you know, to just not be with each other anymore, but you can co-parent in a healthy and effective manner. No, I'm talking about the people that just straight up dip, to just leave their family just stranded or, or you know, just doesn't fight or they don't fight. They make a reason for them to leave that's like really like a bunch of malarkey. You know, that kind of corny stuff that the reason that happens is because of the flight response that men give into early on and <clears throat> fatherhood. This is something I learned early on. It's something I already knew. But, you know, fatherhood is you get just so many. You have so many rewards of being a dad. Right. But, you know, you have to work really hard and sacrifice a lot up front. And the reward kind of starts to trickle in, you know, and if you don't stay long enough for you to see the reward, you will have no clue on what you are truly missing. <clears throat> like my son is able to communicate and I feel like that is just the coolest thing ever because he went from being able to say like, you know, apple, hungry, eat. He can say, stop that. I'm hungry, you know, that like he's piecing the words together. And even if, he, you know, sometimes like his sentences are, aren't too aren't too good, but you know what he's trying to say because he's he's like mumbling a little bit more and talking to you and like the eye contact and he's pointing, he's he's expressing himself. 
But like the only reason I got to see that progress is because I was there consistently over a long duration of time. It may not be as fascinating or be that big of a deal to me or to any other father if you were just coming in and out, even if it was just once a week. You know, being there every day is awesome. I can't tell you guys how much joy it brings me to see him right before I go to bed. I peek into his bedroom. I see him wrapped up with a little stuffed animal. Like that is what you fight for. But you can't you can't um, experience that, you know, if you don't fight for it. You don't see it if you don't fight for it. Um, and it, it's sad, man. It's really sad. And then, you know, you, you get older, you know, I, I'm sure these fathers get older as they turn 30, 40, 50. Your kid ain't messing with you all like that. Uh, you know, you, you, your kid don't come over dinner. You know, your kid ain't coming over going grocery shopping in your fridge, you know, and you like take it up all my food. And they're like, hee, hee, hee. And they're running to their apartment or to their dorm in college or it could be their own house or, you know, like just hanging out. Like, you know, like that, uh, just spending quality time together. Father's Fathers, you know, feel regret and they be missing that. But it's like you didn't fight for it. It's too late now. The kids, 17, 20, 24, 30, kid ain't loving you all like that, you know, or, or, you know, you might have had a disagreement, you know, in the teenage years because I know those can be very difficult. And if you're not there when the kid is going through those little episodes and working that out with the mom and with the child, Hey, that might turn into resentment because they may feel as though you weren't there. And, you know, a lot of times... Uh, the feelings that we have towards our parents that are negative, those are from like our adolescent years. And then for some reason, you just never really let that go. It happens with so many people. They have they don't have the ability to to understand that, like, you know, at that age, you weren't fully mature. You didn't have a full blown understanding or, you know, they don't humanize the parent. You know, I mean, I understand like, you know, like parents, parents should be there and you should be able to turn into a superhero at any moment, you know, for your child. You know, you should be able to. You should. But not everyone can do that because they're human. Parents are human as well. But, um, you know, and I just and I'm not sticking up for, you know, fathers that leave or to skip out on their kids. Take care of your responsibility. Take care of your babies. Right. But I'm just saying that the fight or flight response exists. It's there. I mean, should men be responsible with who, with who they have babies with? 100%. Does it happen? No. So you have to be realistic. But um, this is my theory on why men leave, um, why men leave women, um, you know, when they get them pregnant unexpectedly. Um, and, you know, people like to say it happens to our community. It happens to other communities as well. We're just a poster child for it. It is what it is. You know, me personally, I don't know how people be having multiple baby mamas. Right. I got one and I'm like, I'm done. I'm cool. <laughs> this is the end all me. <laughs> like, I just can't like you juggling multiple women that you ain't even with no more. You know, especially for parenting. Like that sounds extremely complicated and technical. And I just. I don't, I don't want no part of that. I'm, I'm a simple man. Okay. Some of y'all, that's all y'all. You gotta know what's for you and what ain't. I ain't judging. I ain't judging, you know, but, um, but yeah, man, I'll highlight y'all later. Leave a comment below. What do you guys think about fathers that abandon their children? Have you ever been abandoned as a child? Not abandoned. Yeah. Abandoned, especially if you're a man. And even if you're a daughter, cause daughters need their daddies as much as boys do. But you know, I'm a parent. It's interesting. Um, this is just my, my thought. OK, it is it is both, uh, you know, because of their own selfishness, their ability to, to fight, you know, they, they take flight because, you know, they were cowardly or, uh, you know, sometimes they just don't love the mama that there's there, there's those two. But you should never leave the child if you don't like the mama. But, you know, there's just two sides to every story. And I'm, you know, I'm not coping, I'm not saying women are perfect. I'm not saying men are completely evil. I'm just saying that's the reason why they take fight or flight. You guys have a good day. Thanks for watching. I'm out.